warnings uh, welcome for my presentation my topic is uh, modified viscosity in accretion disks so this is Semi seminar about uh, uh, both models and observations and both uh, well-known results and uh, my own results and uh, future prospects. So uh, let's start with the schedule. Uh, so we have we'll start with theory, basic theory of accretion disk physics, what, what they, they are. Uh, next uh, I will present analytical results uh, what are observations and uh, results from models uh, uh, and direct application so uh, let's start with the very basic the very basement of the uh, theory uh, so what are what are accretion disks so there are hot objects around the uh, hot, hot objects uh, hot, hot, there are hot clouds of matter with uh, small angular momentum around the compact object like black hole or neutral star I, I, will, fo I will focus on black hole accretion this because there are they are very they have very characteristic time scales uh, um, length scales con they have length scales with, which are very uh, characteristically connected with mass and they um, are uh, common for uh, common among uh, many orders of magnitude of uh, the black hole mass so so what is characteristic with in accretion this the, they have uh, uh, very characteristic Bla disc, disc black body spectrum. This is uh, black body, uh, black body with uh, some spec, some special, uh, mm, special temperature distribution. So we have very special shape of this uh, spectrum. Uh, and so the one characteristic thing is the Eddington limit because we have. Uh, this is a general thing when you when you when we have a, a strong source of radiation and uh, um, and when uh, radiation interacts with uh, surrounding matter uh, so in accretion disk so we have this disk which is um, which is hot so it is um, luminous so and it is uh, amount of radiation emitting by this disk and this radiation is uh, um, uh, inter interacts with uh, the uh, electrons around uh, um, electrons in the, in the disk plasma and uh, if this pressure is this and to be stable the uh, to for stability of the disk, uh, so uh, it is necessary to have uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, have uh, gravitational um, attraction by central object bigger than uh, than the repulsion from the uh, from the uh, radiation pressures. So this is very basic. And this. Adding the limit is a combination of uh, physical constants, so it is for mm, for the astrophysical uh, object. It is just like that. So in astrophysics, you use x, and in general physics, you use what? So and where? No, but this is inverse x. No, it should yeah. there should be dot. There should be dot. X per second. X per second. Eric times yeah, second yeah. to the power minus one. So <laughs> examples are. Yeah, the variation of Eric is Eric, not Eric's. Uh, 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 Eric's. Eric's second. 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 Second.
this is just the power of lim luminosity, it's the unit, Hertz per second is just a unit of power, 10 to, 10 to the, it's equal to 10 to the power minus 7 watt. result we have we don't have very much time so I will not um, derive it because so yes yes this is unit is this and yeah no this is uh, 10 to about 10 to the power four uh, times luminosity of Sun so because there is no other no, because the sun is yes, yes, but this value is more practical. <laughs> so sun luminosity is quite the sun is rather faint because we are focusing in this seminar. I will focus on high energy effects, not on star on stellar physics. So, and uh, now, now, so accretion disk is plasma plus radiation, and we have an equation of state like that, and we can uh, compute the. Uh, internal energy per mass unit and the, the and derivative of internal energy this, this is like that this is very basic compu computation and uh, just for the student it is ju just uh, just uh, simple task for everyone and so we can start we can continue and this slide is very important because there are so if somebody have a, if, so, if somebody uh, has a question why the equations on the next slide are uh, like that so there are the assumptions so this equation for the disk yes this is a, so we have black hole plus disk and disk is con consists of uh, uh, um, of uh, gas plus radiation, yeah. and those equations on the previous slide is just so equation. Is, is yes, so because it has a limit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but this is. So why do so there is no radiation pressure on the matter? The, there is radiation the pressure. pressure. This for. Yes, they are. Yes. Uh, no, that's this is a 
assumptions, so there are not but very. But that such a tremendous energy is that is that reasonable? But in a uh, lock system, we have the hydrodynamical uh, prescrip description. No, 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 and pressure has nothing to do with the hydrodynamics. Uh, so we, we have. have Locally, it is. The equation of state that P is not local, it's global. Uh, you run that P is equal to AT plus P times T to the power, or rather, when you run the case. So that means that they, you treat the matter and radiation as a completely <coughs> independent value. There is no interaction. This radiation does not affect the matter. So this is an assumption. So, and it's. So, uh, Not this is hy the hydrodynamical model, but 
this model con uh, consider uh, not every uh, hydrodynamical phenomena because we have some constraints because of, like uh, we assume the actual symmetry and uh, Capriian value of the um, uh, angular velocity and local hydrostatic equilibrium. Those assumptions, uh, those assumptions, uh, uh, remove from the solutions the uh, sound waves and shocks. And because we are focused on, we focus only on long-term behavior, which is which can be visible in observations. So. And our equations are like that. So this is uh, uh, the continuity equation, the first one, and the second one is the energy the equation. You can see that this term is, is corresponding. Is there any reason why you write this equation for extensive one? Usually we write the equation like that, the equation is for intensive one. Sigma is because it's a volume. Sigma is because we con we consider thin disk. So uh, sigma is uh, lo something like local density. No, uh, if the it rod, sigma explicitly is a rod and h. Yes. Rod is a rod and h is an extensive. So sigma is extensive. But if we consider uh, disk as a thin, so h is. Uh, all Equation, uh, it's not an equation. Uh, 
So this fourth term, in the, if you uh, write this equation uh, in a coordinate uh, <coughs> in the coordinate r, so the uh, fourth term is plus uh, omega plus term from omega is equal to zero. So it is from the assumption of Keplerian disk. So. Is connected with this. So 
we have to we have internal we have marginal so we have marginal stable we have marginal stable orbit so so in the very short because the, the time is up Omega is Keplerian and it is equal to zero. Yes, of of course, in the stability in this stability uh, condition of exactly here. So this is this condition. So because we have so to here is the z, z, z yeah, uh, how come that the omega disappears from the rest? Okay, so we can so so in a very shortcut. So uh, this was very first uh, first assumption. It leads to instability. It, if you assume like that, it was no instability because we have some observational uh, hints for uh, being uh, uh, instability, which, which is called thermal instability, uh, uh, exactly radiation pressure instability. We need uh, um, the model between the, these two ones. So, and this is one example, and this is a very generalized model, which is the very basic element of my work and 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 one impo another one of the last important thing connected with the theory there are thermal time scales if you look at the equations and assumptions so we have one time scale connected with uh, mm, with, uh, uh, with very dynamic this is just inverted keplerian uh, velocity another one is connected with alpha because alpha is uh, Less than one is usually 0 0.02 at 0 0.03, so this time scale is um, is bigger. And, sec and the last one is viscous; it is connected with the thickness. So, and we can compute these three uh, time scales from uh, from the equations. And there are on this plot we, you can see uh, the dep dependence between time scales and uh, and uh, black hole mass. So, for example, we have three classes of typical astrophysical objects with accretion disks. Uh, second, first one is there are stellar mass black holes, uh, black holes with accretion disks, uh, and so you can see from this uh, plot that, uh, for example, viscous time scale for the stellar mass is about is at the or order of minutes, and for the and we have uh, also uh, supermassive black holes, so quasars, ga galaxies in, in the uh, galactic nuclei. Uh, so we have, uh, for example, mass 10 to the power 8. And this characteristic time scale is 10 to the power 10 seconds. So 10 to the power, this uh, line is one year. So the, this is in millennia. What's the range that you get such a small time scale? Because so. What, what radius do you choose to obtain 10 to the minus 5 seconds? Uh, radius uh, between uh, 3 and uh, uh, 100 uh, Sch Schwarzschild. Because this line corresponds to uh, Schwarzschild. And for example, we don't have a global, uh, for example, second. We don't have any, gr any uh, global variability of quasars at the scale of seconds because yeah, this is. But it's not between because you have a specific number. So what is the radius to get 10 to the minus 5? So. Well, to me, it sounds paradoxical that you have this huge object astronomical and you have the time scale which is uh, a tiny fraction of a second. This is. 
this approximate value. This is anyway, it's <laughs> minus five seconds. How can you get in a huge object of the order of the sun time scales which are ten to the minus five seconds? What ranges did you take? So like this is just uh, for a five uh, Schwarzschild radii. Radi just for a five Schwarzschild radii, this one. So this is uh, approximation because the those instability uh, is, um, is involves the only internal uh, only internal so regions of disk. Approximation because you have a formula, you substitute R and you get the number. So it's not an approximation. Mass is equal to mass. Mass is equal to the sun. You get ten to the minus five second for a certain R. Yes, you but approximation. we, uh, for example. There is a definite formula which relates the time scale with the radius. Yes, but we, in this work, we are focused on uh, small radii because in yes. bigger radii, like 1,000, it is not. I'm still questioning the, your approximation of the radius. Yes, but it's So this is so. We had in those equations we have term uh, q plus minus q, min q minus divided by uh, term uh, connected with the specific heat. So mm, this term is always positive. So in general, so those equation has a stable solution if uh, q, q plus grows uh, with slower than uh, than Q minus. So if the heating pre prevails uh, uh, cooling, if the cooling prevails heating, so uh, this equation has stable solu solution. And uh, if this appear, uh, so the disk is thermally stable. If not, disk is thermally unstable. And we have, we can do some, for example, under assumption of the physically speaking, I had this black hole surrounded by the disk. And it's being heated. I mean the, it, it, everything is rotating. Yes, so, so this is I can do this I, 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 I rotating. Then there is a simple experiment you can do in the kitchen. You can take a jar and then put a mixer in it and start to rotate. Thank you. 
radiative transfer inside and but we observe yes so and this is uh, that's all about this one and there is some calculation so under under assumption of constant sigma so because we have Sigma, this is uh, uh, surface density. So, because we have, mm, so the first equations, w which was a question for uh, sigma for for uh, this this uh, 
continuity equation was uh, wor was working in a viscous time scale which are ro longer and lower equations which was uh, energy equation is working in the mm, thermal time scale which is much much shorter and under this assumption we can compute this der derivative and for the uh, best model so and we and the result is something like that and uh, so uh, Everything is reduced, so we can go to the observations. So, how much and how much heating you can do by decreasing the temperature by one degree? It's a physical quantity. Everything is everything is written in the second equation. So, in the so that way we can do So, from the X-ray satellites, we get uh, some uh, observations of uh, of the some microquasar. This is binary system star plus black hole, and those observations have has some. Uh, there are light caps, so this is luminosity as a number of uh, of photons per unit of time per counter uh, in, in time. So the time is at the order of small minutes. Uh, a few minutes, um, and we uh, and we have micro this object uh, uh, IGR and GRS. So th there are two well-known microquasars, and the new state. new state is uh, just a uh, definition. So so just the definition of this is another new. So and so. so Raw state is more uh, the most regular state. New state is, is a bit there? less regular. Is regular. No, this is uh, this is the observer's terminology. So these are just names. They're just names for this for for the for those observations. So and we have some. reason why it's called raw? Because uh, we have. We we get from observation twelve classes. There are alpha, beta, ah, nu, and <laughs> so there are called by Greek li Greek letters. Yes. So and uh, when you look at this uh, graph, so you can see that every uh, these outbursts are. Uh, are uh, very reg regular, so the ampli 
attitude of the one is like this of the second and the shape is also similar and so this is one common feature of this observation and those feature is completely so covered by feature of uh, uh, results of our model is the time timing the same in new state and raw state it is a bit a bit different a bit different but uh, close to it those periods are close to it, each other so so and So and what is the this is of this uh, the radiation, to our knowledge, radiation per instability. So because those light curves are very similar to light curves from our model this, with this mu. And why we uh, introduced the uh, broad grid of, of models because uh, so it's the why we introduced those broad grid because we try to adjust uh, the shape to the observation. So not just at that time, talking about the periodicity. Periodicity. The formula for the periods of these oscillations at in your model. The, from the re model results, we get the formula. And we confront exactly those observations with model, and we get. Uh, uh, so what is the formula for the I will show you. After several slides, so and something about our model, we use this uh, time-dependent code using those uh, uh, continuity equation and energy equations. We have input parameters, uh, black hole mass. Uh, <coughs> this m dot is uh, is is just a. Uh, Accretion rate is amount of matter flowing into black hole divided by uh, accretion effici efficiency, uh, and it's a function of this formula like that. It is non-dimensional parameter connected with this Eddington luminosity because uh, luminosity cannot exceed Eddington luminosity. It's, there is, and it is very characteristic one. And a and mu, which are uh, tensor parameters, and we parameterize also the output, and this is what what this light curve can look like. Uh, out, so we get period. <coughs> this, it is di well defined distance between two peaks. Uh, amplitude. This is uh, maximum divided by minimum luminosity, and, and this delta is uh, half uh, width. It's uh, half time of. Uh, of Half, half lifetime of these bursts divided by period. And there are very well defined numbers. And what we know from previous works, we know that mm, uh, many sources uh, from accretion disk on many scales are uh, somehow correlated because the characteristic time scale of visible, of visible, uh, mm, of visible variability is connected with this volumetric luminosity, this is in X. So, and we have the, just a straight line. There are microquasars uh, at mass about uh, several solar masses. There, there are uh, active galactic nuclei, uh, nuclei with mass of millions or billions uh, of solar masses. And between is this is one object which is interesting. This is intermediate mass black hole, HLX1. And so we did grid of, grids of models for three values of mass. Uh, one value of alpha, which was typical from the, li from the literature from another observation. And uh, broad range of mu and m dot, because we don't know what is exactly mu. Uh, and um, it is somehow connected with mag magnetic field, because uh, we have also magnetic field inside. Uh, and m dot, which is which can be which can uh, arrange uh, many orders of magnitude. For example, if it can be even one percent and ninety uh, percent, and we, so we did three uh, two-dimensional grids, and there is first result. So we have correlation between this delta parameter and mu and mass. For example, so the for the microquasars, this light curve. So 
if the, this delta is bigger, so the, uh, these light curves look more like this sine and cosine function. And if delta is, um, is smaller, it looks like, in the astrophysical terminology, fast rise, exponential decay. You can imagine. So uh, sine is a very re regular function, so this up is equal to down in the shape. And fast rise is this just vertical and exponential decay. Okay, is you can imagine. So. And results. So I produce the amplitude maps. Uh, so mm, there is dependence on m dot and mu um, amplitude dependence. So mm, we can see that for mm, larger black hole mass, even for quite small mu, we have very, very big amplitude up, up to 10 to the power 4, four. and for a smaller mass we have amplitude which not exceed 100, but in those observations w which we had from these micro microquasars, those amplitude were, was at the order of 3 or 4. It can be a hint that you can we can look for mu about 0.6. And uh, we will this uh, we will do this hunting for me also for this intermediate mass because so uh, we will not do it for AGNs because AGNs has too large scale of uh, uh, variability and it's impossible to observe. So we don't have uh, devices observing these ones during uh, hundreds of years. So and. There are another results. <coughs> this is correlation between period of uh, b between period of variability and uh, amplitude and mass. Universal one and for this free class of ob classes of objects. These results are from numerical. Th th these are from fits to the numerics. You don't have a formula for p. You just have the model. And this is uh, fit from model like that. This is uh, one of example of this middle formula. So these uh, large uh, circles are the model results, these small circles are for the fit. So we have amplitude which is you know, for this source uh, which arise from uh, two uh, up to several thousands and period which rise from five days up to ten years. And uh, so we have this is Correlation, and this correlation is for any mu and any accretion rate. So we have universal. Uh, so uh, we have those formula are universal, and they are very useful for looking uh, for the for application for newly discovered sources. And so uh, another interesting thing about this. So uh, I, I will speed up. So this model is nonlinear. So we can do one. You can see one type of one type of light curve, which is called flickering for smaller mu. And this is this uh, sine shape. And this is fast right exponential decay. And also the uh, parameters of this are changing very in the different ways. So and so we have. Nonlinear dependence between amplitude and accretion rate. You can see this uh, king here and here, and we can from those all those formulas we can determine the mass and mu if we know alpha. And there are formula which which have uh, very which have many practical approxy, uh, uh, practical uh, applications like for this HLX one source. Uh, this is the. There are the data. The, this is the model. We determine this. This is the um, ultra luminous X-ray source, which the variability like that in galaxy S or uh, two three. You have three parameters in your model. Are they adjusted to get the right period? Yes, they they are adjusted because. So with several parameters. You but uh, so if you know when to look for the book, the, the good uh, values, so 
we, we have some hints from the general results. So these formulas are the formula are approximate, and we can, due to the linearity of models, they are not exactly true. But you can look for going closely, and you can find it. And this is the result. Which is the But, for example, if we, cons if we consider mu uh, with as a constant value, so it will be hard to find this solution like that. And another results are about those microquasar observations. We determined uh, this parameter, and so those masses and so the conclusion uh, was that the new states and raw states has very similar values of of uh, alpha because so and the mass of all those objects are similar so uh, there are those microquasar this is the, this uh, hlx and there is the hypothetical there are the hypothetical values of the uh, of the characteristic values for the AGN variability. And so we, you can see that mu is always close to 0 0.6, quite close. And summary, so we had those model with the uh, stress tensor uh, in, this, in this general approach, which somehow uh, models the uh, existence of magnetic field, because this mu, uh, lower mu stabilized the disk uh, as a magnetic field. Uh, and we get results that uh, both for this ULX uh, intermediate mass black holes, this mu is between 0 0.55 and 0 0.6, and so we can determine also the mass of the objects, uh, objects because we have uh, uh, from just from the light curve, not because usually in astrophysics it is done from spectra. There are some spectral models, sp spectral codes, and the problem is, big, uh, and the problem, I the main problem is from this, those spectra is because those spectra are mm, because the devices has some ranges because, for example, in from 0 0.2 keV to 10 keV, so, and if the uh, source is a bit uh, colder, you can see only the part of the spectra, and the fit is uh, so sometimes problem problematic, and from this light curve you can obey this problem, you, you can avoid this problem, and we also use those formulas from the Grisov model to determine the mass on one uh, recently discovered objects. And that's what, thank you for attention. mechanism is uh, thermal instability, which uh, leads to uh, rapid growth of luminosity. And second mechanism is advective stabilization, because we have also this in those equations of uh, energy. We have also term which is connected with the gradients of the temperature. And so this has, has a uh, structure, uh, space structure. And when one part of this is too hot, so this uh, heat is transferred to the uh, to the colder parts, and it uh, avoids explosion of the disk, and is the reason why it's limit cycle. 